I'm Cliff Young, and we're here again with you. Just uh, wonderful sharing these hymns, these psalms and spiritual songs with you. Once again, we have another hymn for you today. Actually, it's not really a hymn. It's a spiritual song, Maria. Yes. What's the name of it? The Lord's Prayer. Ooh, okay. Great. Malat's Lord's Prayer. Yes. And we um, have some history on Malat here. It's a very interesting history that I didn't know about him. So... Albert Hay Malat, born May 19th, 1895, and he lived to November 16th, 1964. Hmm. Here are some uh, scripture references. Yes. What do we like to use? Uh, we are looking at Luke 11, mm -hmm. verses 1 through 4. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. Mm -hmm. And he said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us mm -hmm. and lead us not into temptation. That's wow. That's great. It's also uh, in different uh, Gospels, of course. It's in Matthew 6, 9 through 13, which is the one that we usually um, uh, do. Uh, as it relates to this particular version of the Lord's Prayer a lot. And um, I also like this one, Luke 18, 13. And I'll say mm. this, but the tax collector stand afar off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Mm. And so that talks about um, uh, the sincerity of prayer not yes. being like a tax collector going in and uh, saying, I've done this and I've done that and, and I am all this and I'm praying to you, O oh Lord God. And so everybody mm. can hear me. You because know, you have made because, me great. Because you have made me great and I'm not yes. like that lowly little sinner over there. Mm. So, yeah, they're, they're not like me. I am great. The prideful one instead of the person who says, oh, God, I just surrender all to you. I'm not even worthy to be talking to you, but I submit myself to you. Please, please forgive me because I am a sinner. It's mm. the lowly man. And we believe that that's, what, that's the prayer that God hears because yes. we're all in a state of being wretched and wrong and needing forgiveness. Yes. So um, the themes of this are uh, prayer, of course, <laughs> Worship and worship of God the Father, um, God as our Father, yes. you know, God as our Heavenly Father. So it's a bit of history. Let's see. He was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. um, Albert was an American pianist, organist, composer, and educator. Wow, cool. Now Albert had made a mess of his life, and now, like the prodigal, he was returning home. Albert had been a choir boy and had studied music in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. but he had left home and spent his money. Mm. Hmm. Left home and spent the money. <laughs> Give me my inheritance and I want it now. Yes. <laughs> now he had to wire his father for money for mm. the train fare home. Mm. On the way home, he thought about his father, the prodigal son, and the Lord's Prayer, which begins with our father. Mm -hmm. That was the beginning of the song that is now a classic. For several years, he had kept thinking about it. And in those years, Walt Disney hired him. This is, yeah, this is, I love history like this because we find out so many connections. Yes. Yes. Walt Disney hired him um, for a ballet called Little Red Riding Hood. Wow. So Albert composed the scores of for 15 animated films, uh, he had become a success, but he still had some unfinished business to mm. do. The next time he went home, he finished a song that had been on his mind for many years, and he called for his parents to listen 
and to be the first audience of this song. When he finished singing it for them, there was silence, then sobbing. They threw their arms around him, but they could not speak. Mm -hmm. Their beloved prodigal had sung for them the Lord's Prayer. Amen? Amen. That's powerful wow. uh, history there uh, that I didn't know. You know, we, I learned so much in, um, in having Maria do the research for the hymns. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, it is it fun. It is fun. And, uh, you know, she does the research and then I, I do all the post-production work. And that's how, we, that's how we put stuff together. But we have this song here, yes. the Lord's Prayer. Lord's Prayer, actually, as it's written officially and by Albert Hay Malott. So we have our special little version yes. of it. It's um, the same melody. Yes, but very um, much the same melody. What, what do we change? Just chord structure? Well, yes, chord structure and maybe a little bit of the movement. Mm, okay. so we've kept it simplified so that the words would um, jump out at people. Okay, so. all right. arrangement of that. Oh, you're very welcome. It's what we do here. We arrange, rearrange, and do different chord structures here on hymns, psalms, and spiritual songs. Now, I hope that you, some of you traditionalists out there don't uh, get offended by how we do that. We're not worried about that at all anyway. I'm not. Maria may be a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Yes. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to say. That. I, I, no. don't, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. I don't say. I care. I care. I do. Uh, we have, as a matter of fact, on one of the um, one of my albums uh, that I did with my mother, Dr. Laura H. Young Sampson, mm. we uh, did a version of this where I was playing trumpet, and uh, we yes. did the original, the original kind of the original. My mother puts different chords too, as well. It's not necessarily the absolute original. Hmm. But it is um, a version that we do, and um, it's more of the traditional chords that Malat uh, used yeah. in the Lord's Prayer. 
But um, as things evolve and as things are, are different and as we have different interpretations the Lord puts on our hearts, um, different chord structures and, and just different ways of interpreting. And so it's, it's important for us to understand and to know the traditional versions yes. of things and then to um, somehow add our little take or modernize them. That is how, you know, Beethoven mm. went to, uh, what, let me see, it's Bach, and then it's Mozart, and then yes. it's Beethoven, and things get structured differently. And then we go from Beethoven, and we jump. I like to jump all the way over to Duke Ellington. Yes. <laughs> Of course, we don't want to miss Chopin. We don't want to miss Debussy. Brahms and Debussy yeah. and all those guys in between and Tchaikovsky. Oh. And, you know, we don't want to miss that. But uh, but they took chances. Oh, Gershwin. Oh, oh. Gershwin. Yes. <laughs> so they took chances, and so now we hear uh, uh, Maria Bella and I. We take chances as well. So uh, please don't be offended. We know our history. There's a little history also on these chords. Oh, really? Yes. Tell me about it. Uh, before my mother died, my mom was a, uh, a vocal major mm -hmm. and a piano teacher. Before she passed away, she was working with me on the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. And uh, she would play, and she was trying to teach me to sing this. Um, and then she said, "What? do you hear anything here? And I told her, yes, mm -hmm. but it's not traditional. And she said, well, why don't you play it? And I said, oh, no, because I was afraid that what I was hearing was different and mm -hmm. would not be accepted. Then she said, well, one day you need to play what you hear. Mm -hmm. And so by working on this, I was able to pen finally what I've been hearing for years. Wow. So this was a nice healing, uh, a nice release for me, and it confirms to me that God had called me to hear different things, and it's okay. Yeah. Because it's going to bless somebody. Mm. Amen. So, Amen. thank you. Well, stories about our mothers here on hymn songs and spiritual <laughs> songs and how they influenced our lives. Amen. Well, again, thank you for watching. If you like what you're hearing, even if you don't like it, subscribe. <laughs> I haven't said that in a while. I needed to throw that in. Yeah. Also, the button, the subscribe oh. button is this way, Maria. I oh, think, it is. Yeah. Yes, this, this way. way. Okay. Yes, yeah, so subscribe. There's the button right there. And also our album, uh, Beauty is to Worship. We'll be previewing another song. And we have a special guest coming up soon. Chris oh, Van yes, Dyne. We yes, do. Chris Van Dyne with Here I Am. And so we'll be previewing that soon. You guys have a blessed and wonderful day. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Bye bye. Bye bye. Beauty is to worship. Beauty is to see your face. And there's no one else around, my God. I just want to.